as a new Christian personally, I really struggled, you know, every other time we go to church, you know, you take church as an everyday thing or an ordinary thing. So having grown up in a in a house that uh, we were Christian, we'd go to church, you know, sometimes you called to, for the altar call and definitely you see people going there and you're like, oh, so I have to also be part of the altar call. You go there, you prayed for, but what next? What happens after the altar call? What happens now? You're a new Christian, you told you're a new creation, but what happens thereafter? So welcome to our show, The Angelic Show. I'm your host, KB. And with us in our studio, we have a guest today. We we'll let him introduce himself. Karibu sana, kwa studio Z to Leo. sana. Tuambie. Kumagina naituwa Dixon. Dixon Tsofa. Lakini, like again, sana watu na nijua kama success. Okay. Na kwa nema ya mungu, ni mitu wakati ya kiti cha utume. Ndiyo. Kwa hivyo, kimumbu wanasema apostol. Na. Lakini, zaidi ya yote, tunamtukuza mungu kwa yote. Amina. Kabisa. Amina. Mimi ni mchungaji. Katia kanisi, naituwa Conquering Faith Church Worldwide. Also known as Epignosis Chapel International. Okay. Ambayo iku pale tezo. Tulifi tezo. Tezo wapi? Don't you... Mm. Our viewers are able to, to reach Sante you. Sana. Mm. Uh, ukifika tezo, Naam. ana mahali kuneto kumhambi. Okay. Kwa shamba moja la jembe, japo tunamtumaini ya buwana ya kuamba kanisa litakuwa landmark. Sikita wili ya kuamba isifikia wakatu ifika tezo, waze kulizi ya manu mengu kisema tu, wanda ipignosi chape, wale tu hapa. Naam. Laini kwa sasa sabu tunamutumaini buwana tunavukua, mm. ukifika tezo tu, ukiulizia, wengi sana huwa wanapenda kutumia tu kwa apostol Dixon. Na. Lakini ukishafika pana mahali panetu wa community hospital mm. pale, kuna njia tu ya kuingilia kwa muhambi na itakuwa raisa na kufika mahali lipo. Na. Na. So, uh, katika discussion yetu leo, na. Uh, we are discussing about discipleship. 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 Na. So, Apostle, tell us what your understanding of discipleship is. Uh, discipleship, katika ufamu wangu, ni, ni mundu ama it's one of the process of making one to be like Christ. Na. Ni katika njia kumkuza mtu ambaye hayajua wokovu ni kitu gani, na. mpaka fikile kile kilele cha kufikia. Kulingana wa galatia nne, kusoma msaru ulo wakumla tisi na kuendelea, inasema ya kwamba wanangu ambao nilipata utungu katika kukuza mpaka pale kristu atakapoyawa ndani yenu. Hmm. Sasa ile prosi ya kwamba mpaka fikie hatua ya huyu mtu amemjua kristu ni nani hmm. na najokovu ni nini. Hmm. Sasa ile prosi ya kwamba discipleship. Hmm. Yeah. So maybe kuna mtu neza kuwa na shanga like Discipleship just comes from the word disciple. So mm-hmm. that, does that mean someone now Wanafunzi. is becoming a disciple mm-hmm. in this process? Uh-huh. Eh? Uh, kama vile tukiangalia katika asili ya ulimwengu. Naam. Mwanafunzi anavigezo vya kwa mwanafunzi. Ndiyo. Vile vile pia katika maisha ya kiroho kuna vipengele ambavu vipelekea mm-hmm. waka tukasema huyu ni mwanafunzi. Naam. Mwana wakuingia shule Haimansharu wa mwiko mwanafunzi. Yeah. Kuna vitu ambao vinapaswa kufata ili wa mwanafunzi. Mm. Vile vile pia katika maisha kiroho, kuna vigezo ambao vinaza kufata, tukasema kika huyu, amekuwa mwanafunzi. No. Na msema huwa nawambia watu, kuenda kanisani, hakufanyi kwa mkristo. Mm-hmm. Kama vile, kuenda garage kila wakati, haikugeuzi kwa probox. Yeah. Sasa, kuna vitu ambao vina unavifatilia, mm. baada ya mda, Zijua kwa sa huyu hakika amekuwa mwanafunzi wa Yesu. Ndiyo. Kabisa. Naam. So as of yours you've had kwenda kanisani si kufanya uwe mkristo kuna vigezo. <laughs> na hivyo vigezo sasa tunataka tuvijue ni vipi. Mm. What are these key elements or the steps to be now a disciple or to walk in the way of Christ? Okay. Naam. Uh, ni process gani? Mm. Nashukuru sana. Kama uh, utaniruhusu Uja kidogo niweze kugusia hapa nyuma wakati ninapokuja. Naam. Mtu ambaye anahitaji kuwa mwanafunzi cha kwanza lazima awe na ule uhitaji ndani ya moyo wake, sawa sawa. Mm. Maana huwezi mnyesha mtu maji 
wakati hana kiu. Asa kulingana na maandiko mm. inasema hivi ni katika wa Korinto wa pili mm. kama sijakosea no. inasema ya kwamba mtu wa asili ni wa Korinto sama wa Korinto wa kwanza nitasoma mm. mlango wa pili inasema msara 14 mwanadamu wa tabia ya asili the natural man hayapokei mambo ya roho ya Mungu hmm. maana kwake huyo ni upuzi sasa hatukamfundishe namna gani kuhusiana na mambo ya wokovu no. huyu mtu haezi kukubaliana na wewe hmm. maana ni ujinga halafu unajua huyu mtu ila kuelewe ina maana ya kwamba kiwi yake ni mwanzo apoke nini wokovu ndio sawa sawa hapo cha kwanza mm. asa huyu akishapokea wokovu hatulii pale mm. maana hiyo ndio base ya kwanza kwa nini apokee wokovu kwa sababu mambo mengi katika ufalme huu ni kama siri sawa sawa mm. sasa kama hauna usaidizi wa roho wa Mungu huwezi yafahamu haya asa mpaka umpokee nani Kristo sawa sawa as ukishapokea mm. yule mtu ambaye ameokoka kuna vigezo ambavyo vinapaswa kwa nini avifuate sawa sawa kulingana wa Rumi 12 msari ule wa kwanza na mbili mm. nasema ya kwamba ndugu zangu itoeni nini milienu sawa sawa iliwe nini dhabihu iliyo takatifu safi mbele za Mungu sawa sawa mm. halafu Inasema hilo ibada inokubalika mbele za Mungu. Hmm. Sawa sawa. Kama ni kafara hii ni dhabihu inotolewa. Tukiangalia katika agano la kale. Kafara yote inotolewa ni kitu ambacho kinaletwa na kinauliwa. Sawa sawa. Tuseme kama ngombe ama mbuzi huchinjwa. Hmm. Ake iko katika nini? Madhabahu. Akateketezwa pale. Hmm. Maana ni hii ya kwamba huyu mtu ili ya kwamba atoe mwili wake cha kwanza Mtu anatoa nini mwili wake? Naam. Ina maana huyu tayari si huyu mwili. Ushaelewa paka hapo? Ndiyo. Kuna kitu kingine ambacho ni zaidi hapa ambacho kinatoa. Nikisema toa hii Biblia ina maana wewe si Biblia. Hmm. Sawa sawa. Sasa huyu mtu hmm. anapojitoa mbele za Mungu, msari wa pili unasema nini? Msifatanishwe na nini? Na mambo ya ulimwengu mgeuzwe ni azenu. Sasa huyu mtu aliokoka hmm. lazima afikile kipekele cha nini cha kugeuzwa nia yake sasa hugeuzwa nia kuna vitu ambavyo inapaswa afuate cha kwanza ni mafundisho warumi 10:17 inasema imani huja kwa kusikia tena kwa kusikia neno la Mungu ina maana ya kwamba kuna uwezekano watu wakawa kanisani lakini kawa hawajaokoka bado Kweli. Sawa sawa. Mm. Maana kule kwamba ye alimpokea Yesu, sawa sawa. Mm. Lakini sasa kuingia mpaka afikile kilele cha kusema mimi nimekuwa mwanafunzi bado hajakifikiria pale. Mm. Namna gani? Imani haijamgea ndani yake. Sawa sawa. Mm. Ukienda hospitali utapata madaktari huko pale. Lakini vile vile wagonjwa ndio wako kule kule. Mm. Sababu ya wagonjwa ni nini? Wapo kioponyagi. Ukienda uh, polisi wako utapata mahabusu wako kule. Ukienda kanisani watoko pata kina nani? Ina maana kuna watu wamekuja pale wafanye nini? Wafundishike ile nao wafike kile cha kusema sasa mimi nami nimekuwa mtakatifu. Naam. Kwa hivyo ni process. Hmm. Unastahili kukaa mahali kufundishika neno la Mungu. Kweli. Sawa sawa. Yeah. Ukishafundishika imani inaanza kuja ndani yako hmm. na imani hii inatokana kwa nini kwa maandiko hmm. kwa sababu kusikia kunaweza kusikiwa kwa kwingi sana hata mimi ninavyoongea na wewe naweza kupiga story za mazingaombwe hapa ukajawa na kitu kingine ndani yako sawa sawa hmm. maana hakuna uongezo wote ambao hautupachiki kitu kila uongezi there is an impartation that you receive hmm. so napoongea Naweza kuongea na wewe kuhusiana na mambo na mazinga umbwe, mapepo mwisho hapa ukajawa na hofu. Na nikaongea na wewe kuhusiana na mambo ya kiungu baada ya hapo ukajawa na kitu tunachokiita nini? Imani. Mm, sawa sawa. Okay. So mtu anesikiza anakaa katika mafundisho ndivyo vile anakuwa pole pole. Lakini mm. lazima awe na kiu. Mm. Sawa sawa. Sawa. Sasa for the new converts mtu ambaye ndo ameokoka, ameenda kanisani ama hata umekuwa kwa crusade mm. there's an altar call. Mm. 
mwenye anataka kumpokea Kristo aje mbele so kuna huyu mtu mwenye anahisi kabisa ndani ya moyo wake ni wakati na anataka kumpokea Mungu roho bwana sham convict so ameenda hapo mbele ameombewa sasa after hapo hapo sasa ndo i feel like for more pe- most people the challenge starts there mm. they are really willing mm. and they have taken this the step of faith wameenda wameombewa yes. akifika nyumbani sasa anafikiria atanzaje kwanza ikija department ya kusoma biblia mm. anajiuliza nitanzaje nitanzia wapi how do how does one now Asante. start reading the bible amina no ah uh, kuna maswali mawili ambayo umeyachanganya katika kitu kimoja okay sawa sawa um. cha kwanza ningependa kuelewa hivi mm. mtu huyu amekuja ameokoka kwa crusade sawa sawa no. kuna kitu ambacho lazima kifuate kulingana na samueli mm. wa pili saba kumi inasema ya kwamba nitawapeni mahali watu wangu kuna mahali tuleta hema mm. ambayo ni kanisa ambayo Mungu hukupatia sawa sawa mm. so that is your church kama wewe umeokoka inakupasa uwe na kanisa mahali ambapo unaweza tulia ukafundishika ndio usote ile mkristo sema kwamba ni mkristo tu kanisa lako ni gani hakuna baya ya kwamba kutembelea kanisa yote kwenda sikiza mm. lakini baada ya siku pana mahali ambapo Mungu hukuwekea ukajua hii ni hema ambapo nalishwa neno mm. sawa sawa ndio makusudi yake ni haya pale unapokaa unapofundishwa neno ni kwamba yule mtesi asikutese tena sawa sawa okay. hayo ndo makusudi ya Mungu na mna gani ni hivi mahali pale utapata wachungaji makusudi ya mchungaji ni gani Yeremia 3:15 Mungu anasema nitowapeni wachungaji mm. wanonipendeza mioyo yangu hawa watawafundisha kwa neno la Mungu na maarifa ya neno langu mm. sawa sawa mm. kwa hivyo kiwa pale kila mchungaji ana neema yake wenda yule akawa na kufundisha hivi namna hii na namna hii sawa sawa lakini kigezo cha muhimu ni hiki mchungaji yote yule ambaye ametumwa kwako mm. anakufundisha jinsi ya kutambua sauti ya Mungu kuliko sauti yake sawa sawa mm. na sauti ya Mungu utasikia hususan cha kwanza kwa wapi kwa neno lake sawa sawa okay. ambapo hapa mwongozo wake ni roho wa Mungu sawa sawa okay. kwa nini Isaya 29:11 inasema kwamba hili ni kama fumbo sawa sawa hmm. aliopewa yule alina maarifa akaambia soma ni maana yake ni kwamba ni mtu ambaye hata na teolojia labda ni mtu amesoma vizuri sana hmm. king mombo sawa kiswahili sawa akaambia shika soma aliposoma akasema sielewi maana nini imepigwa mhuri hii biblia hata ukajifanya vipi ukasoma na kwa kama hadithi kwako hmm. akapoa ambaye hana maarifa akaambia soma akasema mimi ta sielewi lolote sijasoma ina maana ya kwamba ni kama fumbo. Pale mwanzo nikasema ya kwamba kuna mengi ambayo ni kama siri. Hmm. Marko 4:11. Sasa wahitaji usaidizi wa nani? Wa roho wa Mungu akakuongoza. Maana kila kitu ambacho kimeandikwa hapa ni kwa manufaa kwetu. Hakuna mahali ambapo hapana manufaa. Hmm. Kwa hivyo hata ukisema ningesema kwamba soma kitabu cha mambo ya kati, soma Zaburi, soma Ufunuo. Sasa nitakuwa na kuelekeza kulingana labda ni jambo fulani nataka kulielewe. Lakini wewe binafsi inakupasa mm. anza kusoma mahali anza ikiwezekana anza kitabu cha mwanzo. From Genesis mm. hadi Revelation ukaweza kusoma. Ndiyo. Sasa kuna discipline ya kuweza kusoma. Mm. Kama vile ambapo una discipline kule shuleni. Wewe usichukata vitabu vyote ukaanza kusoma siku 1 twende paka mwisho. Kuna discipline ya kusoma. Na, Na maandiko yanasema precept upon precept. Line upon line ina maana ya kwamba kuna vitu unaweza kusoma kitabu cha mwanzo halafu ukapata uh, uhimili wake zaidi ukopata katika kitabu cha ufunuo ama Ezekiel mm, sawa sawa kwa hivyo ninaweza mshauri mtu kama yule akapokea kuna biblia zile za concordance ama nini azikamsaidia kusoma okay. lakini haina shida kuanza mwanzo sawa sawa Ndiyo. na pia awe na mtu ambaye anaweza kumsaidia ata kujifunza no. au na mchungaji ama wale ambao huenda wakao wanaongoza kule kanisani kwao this is bible study anapokuja kusoma anaposoma anapata mahali hapa elewe cha kwanza anaweza omba wa Mungu maana mwanzo kabla ya soma hmm. wacha Bwana amuongoze hmm. cha pili anaposoma hmm. let the holy spirit lead this person hmm. na sipopaelewa apatafute msaada 
kwa mchungaji ama mtu ambaye ana ufahamu zaidi. Hmm. Sawa sawa. Kwa hivyo ukisoma, usisome chochote kitabu mwanzo paka mshoo kama ah, ah ni asome angalie. Hapa pana maisha nini? Halafu relate pale mahali na maisha yako yaliko sahihi. Okay. Je, lile neno linanena nini juu yako kwa wewe sasa? Hmm. Maana huyo mtu sema kwa maana jinsi hii Mungu alipenda ulimwengu. Mm-hmm. Kwa hivyo amemaliza taarifa by siku imeendeleza nini John 3:16 for God so loved the world eh, so what do you know about what do you kitu gani una relate nacho mahali pale kabisa naam ah uh, kwa hivyo bible studies equally important for the new converts very important yes maana wewe fikiria umeingia shule mm. unasema umeingia shule na huko tayari kujifunza mm kila mahali kuwa kuna kuna kanuni za kivyake ndio kama hauwezi ile kanuni mm. za pale kanisa lilivyo itakuwa vigumu sana ndio unapata mtu anaokoka leo hajui inavompasa kwenda katika kanisa hajui inavompasa kutembea na Mungu ndio sasa wengi wamezuia kuambiwa hivi ndio inapaswa lakini hakuna wakati ambapo wamekuwa na ushirika na Mungu Mungu anataka tuwe na ushirika na yeye hmm. haya maandiko ya tujae kibinafsi sio kwamba mtu anasimama the, the fact that tatu kwamba nimesema na mai kama mchungaji hamisha kwamba kila kitu ninachokisema kikawa iko sawa so lazima upime roho hmm. maandiko yanasema tupimeni nini roho zote hmm. sasa kama maandiko huja hunayo utapima vipi roho hmm. leo yuda sikia watu wanasema yule nabii wa uongo yule nabii wa kweli umulize kivipi ha, hata neno lenyewe halijui sasa <laughs> kwa sababu huyu mtu ana base vipi una criteria gani parameter gani watumia kupima wale watu mm. so it is very important bible mm. study is very important mm. yeah ah uh, nitaka utambie story yako when you were born again were you able to go through the discipleship process mm. kwa kifupi na wewe ili kusaidiaje Okay. Kwa kifupi tu. <laughs> Umejua na maneno mengi. Ni vinaoja story wa unza So, thank you so much. Eh, mimi mm. ni nimepitia discipleship. Okay. Nilipoingia katika nilipokoka. Mm. Ah, uh, cha kwanza napenda nimshukuru mtumishi wa Mungu Uh, Askof James Chigodi yeye ndiye alikuwa babangu wa kiroho katika majira yale mpaka ndiye alinibatiza okay. na akanipitishia hayo mafundisho yeah. cha kwanza tulianza foundation class hmm. kuelewa uh, mambo zaidi kuhusiana na batizo yeah. alafu baadaye nilipozidi kuinuka I got a lot of mentors katika maisha yangu. Okay. Mshoni ndipo nikaja nikaland chini ya mtumishi wa Mungu Askof David Oyedepo mm. chini ya Pastor Agustin Chivila. Okay. Na nikafahamu mengine zaidi. So tena nikaingia foundation zingine japo katika kiwango cha juu zaidi. Okay. So nikajifundisha kuelewa haya mambo tukizungumzia kuhusu baptism ni nini, Biblia ni nini, no. kuomba ni nini. No. So katika ile ndio nikajua. Mwanzo nilikuwa nikiomba tu. Naweza mka baba asante. Hela nianze tare kukemea ama nini. Lakini kumbe ni kama ni kama uh, zana ya kujua kufundishwa. Mm. Oh ni hivi. Oh kusoma, nikisoma Mungu anaweza kuongea na mimi. Oh, oh kumbe tunaweza kusoma hivi. Bwana kaona simza na wewe hmm. nikajua I learned how to listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Yeah, so hmm. nikajua namna hiyo. Yeah. So mpaka sasa siwezi kusema tare nimefikia kilele lakini kuna mengi ambayo nimeyajua kulingana no. na mafundisho. The, does the discipleship process come to an end or is it a continuous 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 process? <laughs> well, ndipo sasa nimesema hmm. naongea mengi. <laughs> Maana uh-huh. kama mnisikia nimesema mm. hata sasa eh nimesikia hiyo part. Paulo anasema ya kwamba mm. natamani nikujue zaidi. Naam. Halafu Musa naye anasema ya kwamba nataka kujua. Fikiria mtu ambaye amemuona Mungu. Naam. Yaani ameona mbungu wa Mungu. Kitu gani anataka kujua? Paulo miujiza yote aloifanya mm. ni kitu gani anataka kujua? 
mtu akwambiaye anajua yote hajui lolote maana kila wakati hmm. kuna mafunuo mapya ambayo yanakuja. Roho wa hmm. Mungu hufunua vitu vipya kila wakati. Hmm. Hatujahitimu in the school of spirit we are all learners. Okay. Kila siku tujifundisha, hmm. tujifundisha, tujifundisha. Chuma hunua chuma. Hmm. So leo hii naweza kuwa hapa nikawa na ufahamu fulani ambayo nimejua. No. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 2 says grace and peace be multiplied to you through the knowledge of Jesus Christ so the grace you need the peace you need can be multiplied mm. sawa sawa yes through the knowledge mm. paulo hakuwa na mitume walipokuwa na yesu lakini kitu gani kikamfanya akawa chief of the apostles through knowledge mm. so unaweza jitihadisha katika kujifunza ma kila wakati and the discipleship process so for the new converted christian it's really important Very like important. but how kwa mfano tuko na wewe kijana ambaye they've been fighting addiction you mm. they've been going through addiction they are now born again hata how tayari kwenda kanisani it's usually a challenge because they feel mm-hmm. the the judgment from the people at the church mm-hmm. so mtu kama huyu And now how do they even now be able to fit in and come even to the disciple process mm-hmm. discipleship process in this case kwa sababu hata uoga tayari wa kwenda kanisani na kwa kuna kuna ile uoga alafu ajua ama ile judgment zamo ziko na ajua atanzia wapi ah swali hili jibu lake nitaelekeza katika kanisa okay maana ni sisi wa Kristo ambao tunapaswa kusimama kwa kigezo msingi wa Kristo si miujiza no. msingi wa Kristo sio uh, mazingombe msingi wa Kristo ni upendo no. na tukielewa upendo wa Mungu jinsi ulivyo sisi binafsi kama wa Kristo mm. tuta tutachukua ule ule ambao alitupenda tuka reflect kwa nini kwa wale wa ulimwengu no. tukubaliane tukubaliana sote ya kwamba hakuna aliyesawa naam tumekubaliana tumekubaliana <laughs> hapo tumekubaliana sote tumepungukiwa na utukufu wa Mungu na sote tumeanguka na ni kwa neema ya Mungu hmm. ya kwamba sote tumeokoka hmm. sawa sawa unakumbuka ile hadithi ya yule uh, prodigal son naam alipochukua mali ya babake akaenda saki huko akaifanyia mambo yote Badai akarudi kwa babake. No. Alipojirua kona eh nimefanya makosa. Kama huyu mtu amefanya makosa yake hayo ni bange amefanya kila kitu. No. Leo hii akaamua, mm, hapa nimeona nataka nirudi kwa Mungu. Sawa no. sawa? Ndiyo. So the prodigal son turns back. Anaambia acha nirudi kwa baba. No. Maana nimejua kila kitu kwa baba. Anarudi. Babake anampokea kwa furaha sana. Sawa sawa? Ndiyo. Huyu mtu amekubali. God in heaven, live mm. live. He's a god of second chance. Yes, so yes. amemkubali huyu mtu. Mm. Hii pati ya Mkristo ni hapo. Yule mkubwa wake alipona vile. Uliona tabia yake alifanya? Badala ya kwamba afraikie ndugu yangu amerudi. Oh my brother. Huyu jamaa kasirika. Kasirika naam. Asa hii ndo kanisa ya leo ilivyo. Mtu akirudi mm. kwa Mungu sisi tunaweza kumjudge kulingana history yake, hatuangalii future yake ilivyo. Mm. Maana nini? Tunamjua huyu mtu, huyu jamaa alikuwa mvuta bagibangi. Huyu mtu alikuwa malaya. Huyu mm. mtu amekuwa hivi na hivi na hivi. Na. Sasa tunaanza kumtenga badala ya kwamba tumkumbatie huyu mtu. Mm. Kuna huyu msemo nasema ya kwamba the world today is full of sinners judging other sinners for sinning differently. Yes. So, ndio tulio leo hii ya kwamba jinsi wao wanavuta bangi na mimi dhambi yangu ni uzinifu. Mm. Asa na kujajue kwa sababu kufanya ile dhambi yangu mimi dhambi yako siwezani nayo kwa hivyo nakuta wewe mwenye dhambi mshona sasa hiyo ndo shida so tunajificha nyuma ya kanisa tujificha nyuma za kwaya nyuma ya neno tukijita watakatifu hasa wale walio nje mm. wanajiona kwamba sisi si watakatifu kwa nini tukienda wakiangalia hao ambao ni wawakumbatie wawalete karibu na Mungu mm. sema ya yeah, there is a second chance this god we serve there is 
there is always a second chance with him. Haimaanishi ya kwamba hata umefanya makosa makubwa kiasi ya kwamba hata hawezi kusamehe la hasha. Paulo alikuwa muwaji. This man was a murderer, but God called him. Jacob a liar, God called him. Who are you? Bwana anaweza kuita katika hali yoyote ile na akakugeuza. Sawa sawa? Kwa hivyo kanisa lina jukumu, lijue kwamba lazima tuupende watu, tuonyeshe upendo watu. Tunaponyesha hawa upendo, watu kwa rahisi kukumbatia. Maana kanisa he, hivi watu hawaji kwa sababu ya yale mazungumzo yaliyo pale. Ni upendo ndio huwavuta. Sisi tumevutwa kwa Mungu kwa upendo wake. So this, this this thing is more of the church. Hawa watu wakishaonaona upendo wa kweli, watakuja kanisani. Mkianza kwa puramawe, hawaji kanisani. Sawa. Thank you so much. Asante sana. What is your parting shot today on discipleship? What do you advise our viewers today? Mtu mwenye labda alikuwa ana hesitate, maybe even the whole process of getting born again because they're like how do I start? Will the church accept me? So what's your parting shot to them? Ah, ningependa kusema hivi. Ya kwamba mapenzi ya Mungu ni sote tupate kuokoka. Ndio na kumjua yeye zaidi. Na mambo ya wokovu it's a personal uh, relationship between you and God. Lakini uhusiano pia uko na tamu zake ambazo zinakupasa kwa nini kuzielewa. Kile ambacho kinafanya bibi kukaa kwa nyumba mpaka asahau kwao ni ile tense ambayo iko ya upendo, sawa sawa, gharama ambayo unampendea mke wako ndio itamfanya asahau kwao. Sasa huyu najua hii gharama ya kulipa ili ya kwamba niwe karibu na huyu ni gani? Sawa sawa. Kwa hivyo inakupasa uh, uelewe ya kwamba kuna umuhimu wa kujifundisha neno. Kuna umuhimu wa kukaa chini ya ya mikao ya kujifundisha. Kuna umuhimu wa kuwa katika mkusanyiko wa watu ambao wanafundisha mambo ya injili. Kulingana na Ibrania 10:25, msikose kusanyana. Mm. Kama ilivyo desturi ya wengine, usikose mambo kama haya. Mm. Na remember this. God is a God of second chance. Yes. It doesn't matter how far you have gone. Mungu anaweza kurudisha tena. No. Kuna kitabu ambacho ningali na kimaliza about second chance. Okay. Ambao nimezungumzia sana haya mambo. God of the second chance. It doesn't matter. Yeah, a righteous man may fall seven times, mm. but he will rise again. Yes. Kwa hivyo Mungu anakuhitaji tena. Bwana anakutaka tena. Ni wewe upate nini? Ugeuka. Mm. Yeah, we love you above, above it all. God loves you so much. Kwa hivyo mimi kwa wangu nikwambia kwamba hawa watu wajue ya kwamba mm. haijalishi wanadamu watu watu vipi. Haijalishi saroni ngeu tuko vipi kujua kwamba Mungu aliye mbinguni ndiye yeah, anawapenda na nafsi ni nafsi even to the church i need to tell the church today mm. is that nafsi ni nafsi na kila nafsi inatamani mbele za Mungu ndiyo yeah yes. so we should be a welcoming church and let these people come back we need them let us depopulate hell and populate heaven, heaven. amen amen <laughs> yeah so to our viewers Our God is a God of second chances. Amen. If you have not picked anything in this show today, pick that one thing that it's Amen. never too late. Amen. And our God is a God of second chances. Amen. So take the opportunity today come on, you're not born again, Amen. get born again and start this journey. Trust me, it is a very beautiful Amen. journey and everything or in anything prayer and supplication just pray about everything. Amen. It's not a hard journey, you know, like we have like apostle has spoken It's the church that sometimes is trying to push us away. Mm -hmm. But when you you read your Bible and you pray, you realize there's nothing too hard for God. Amen. The Bible says is there anything too hard for God? Mm -hmm. And there is absolutely nothing that is impossible Amen. with God. Mm -hmm. So we take uh, we encourage everyone out here mm -hmm. to take the the, the step Amen. and yeah, get Amen. born again. Amen. Thank you so much apostle for joining us today. Thank you so much. I appreciate Uh, Charity TV for this opportunity. Karibu God sana. bless you so much. Amen. 
na hii huduma izidi sana amina ni wengi wanataka kupata hii nuru Mkweli. na Mungu akubariki sana amen yeah amen. may god in heaven bless you amen. and lift you up in jesus name amen this uh, station will continue to go higher levels in the name of jesus amen amen god amen. bless you so much amen so maybe you can share with us any of your social platforms maybe where people can follow you facebook okay wanaweza follow ile account yangu tu mm. na kuna truth of gospel truth of gospel okay. most time pia hapo wana it's on my page okay ambao pia wana fundisha hapo but uh, youtube mm. tungali tungali tunifungua okay. but you can search also apostle dixon okay. success my name dixon is d i x o n apostle dixon success in case labda kama mtu anataka personally labda namba yangu tu it's okay you can share also your number okay. yeah uh, namba yangu ya whatsapp okay labda naweza nipata kwa 07 and make sure ya kwamba akina text aniambie maana maraisi na wana deal na vitu tofauti. Okay. Kuna wale ambao ni text kwa ajili ya mambo na canceling, mm. kuna wale ambao ni text kwa ajili ya mambo kadha wa kadha. Okay. So head anaambia kwamba ni hiki na hiki na hiki. Maana siku hizi uh, ukienda pale chezo utapata mabandiko yangu yamekwa zile ni zangu. Asa watu huchukua namba zangu okay. na ukani text mambo yao. Hata juzi nilipata mtu ameni text hapo, "Hey babes, sasa <laughs> na shindwa hasa huyu hasa nitafanya nini kwa hivyo kama mtu yuko serious na kitu mm. wacha anielezee ni kitu gani maana uh, wengine tunapenda kulinda pia dhamira za watu kabisa okay asante sana thank you for your time once again and feel welcome thank you thank you Thank, Thank you, so you of viewers today. So Amen. God Zahau, bless you. <laughs> subscribe by Chadi TV YouTube. Amen. Subscribe, like and share Amen. so that you are able to receive all our updates and notifications. Amen.